Alright, here you are. Everybody's bitching about it. Here's uh, the new day at the extreme office. Look at the fucking window. It looks like someone jizzed all over it. Or in the public bathroom where all the fucking public people can piss and shit. So, uh, okay, so everybody was bitching that we needed a new one. So now here's a new one. So now we're leaving the bathroom. Alright, now this is uh, Derek Newblood's office. See, oh, great. he's a fucking jerk off, not here. Alright, and this is John Blatt's office. John Blatt, the prodigal son. He is back. See, look, he's so big and impressive, he needs a desk there. And then there's his other desk. This is where he makes all his big fucking deals, big shot. And that's where he plays on the internet and on the drudge report every fucking day. Alright, here we go. Now we're leaving their office. See, look, he's got the couches. He said he paid for the couches, but I think I'm going to wind up having to fucking pay for it. It'll be in one of those hidden charges somewhere. Alright. Okay, here we go. Back out. Derek's office. See? It's a door you can get in and out of. Let me walk down the hall here. Alright, now we're in my office. Nobody's here working. That's where Tommy's desk is. Tommy's floating around. See, look. Ooh, look. Look at these two awards. Ooh. Yay. And there's uh, this a free speech award. He actually went to that stupid shit. Free speech. Tom Byron. Lifetime Achievement Award. Great. I think they, Tommy said they gave Mark Wallace the same award. Great. He's in a good class. Here's a stupid The Icon Fox Award. Another award. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gay. Oh, there's Thomas Zubko. When I went to see him earlier, he was banging a broad in his office. <laughs> Weren't you? No. Weren't you? No. <laughs> you were banging a broad. Yeah. Weren't you banging a broad? Uh, you were banging a broad? Yeah. All right. So that's, that's my desk. See all the debris and garbage around my desk? Look at that. Let me spit. And then over here, this is GQ Money's desk. See how his desk is in our room? That's because ages ago he runs the mail order, or not the mail order, the uh, internet bullshit thing. And he does the XPW website stuff. But I couldn't trust him to be alone because he would just smoke dope all day. You know, and goof off. Is he getting dope in here? Look, see that? Look at that. Look at that. Dope. Dope, dope. Anyways, so, yeah, that's why he's there, and I'm here, that way I can watch him, but I don't have to watch him anymore. See, people aren't in their offices, but we're going to catch him floating around, making me no money. So, then we go down here, here's, this is the G-Man's new office. I had to, like, get him a new office, because everybody else was getting offices, and he'd cry like a little bitch. Same thing with his new desk, because other people got new employees in here, and then he cried like a little girl. So now we got him in it. And there's there's John Blatt. There's there's Dave Penikoff. I was telling I was telling the people that I had to get Dave a new office and a new desk because he was bitching and crying because everyone else he's got new shit. Screen. And he's been here for you know years and he don't got nothing new. And there's his flat screen, but Dave paid for that himself. But just like Blatt's couches, I think somehow I'll wind up paying for it in the I long run. Not right? yet. Uh, yeah. I haven't right. myself a check yet. So Dave's going in there. There's Scott Snot. Yeah, he'll get sucked off. I you don't want his face on camera. I showed him your. I showed them. I went to your office already. Right. Show him. I said that's the prodigal son, John Black. I go. This is his desk for making billion dollar deals, and then this is his desk when he plays on the internet. Yeah, but show him the nicest office in the place too. Yeah. They show him the hippest office in the place. And that's Scott Snot, who had a really good job down in San Francisco, and he, like, yeah, came he here. an $80,000 a year job to make 200 a week. He came here to make he less gets money, sucked up by, gets but he gets by sucked by off every, by every night. Borderline street hookers. <laughs> night, which I'm afraid to even look in their mouth, because they what probably have some big sores in there. No borderline. And this is my bathroom. See, it's filthy. It's pretty filthy. And then you go down the hall again. And there's, uh, this is Kevin's office, Kevin Kleinrock, you know, the one you hear about, there's Tommy, I already showed, 
people where Tommy sits. We're, we're booking the latest Black Attack. And that's Derek Newblood. I showed you his office. See, I told you guys that we would come down, and as we came down, you would see people not in their offices, <laughs> but they were. There's, there's Derek. Yes, I know fans. He's black. Yeah. Yes, and I don't know why we hire him, because I do hate black people, but he's kind of black and white, so oh, I, just, I just like the good white side. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't really hate black people. I don't. I love black you, you people. You let them eat off your plates and everything. Yeah. <laughs> and, but Derek, you've been to my house, haven't you? I used to live there. What's Barnard? Derek, well, you, you used to live in my house? In your house. He's and, black. See that shit? And he's black. So fuck all you people who say I'm a racist. There's a black guy that lived in the house. In the big house. In Did I let you house. eat off the same plates and stuff? Sure. Did we oh, do that, Tom? Yeah. <laughs> I think I threw away all the uh, linen and uh, bed sheets and silverware after it was over, though. Yeah. It's Musk. Cat's Kevin. He's the new DVD guy. Yeah, he's great. See, so, uh, Lucky Luciano for. He's not with us anymore. Is that new coming? There's new high quality DVDs, not the fucked up ones that we, we did before. These but these ones are not going to have this great new behind the scenes look at Extreme. Well, the ones that you're watching now. But the ones that you're watching now. You're watching, the one that you're watching now is a high quality DVD, as are these. It's, it's a top great shit right here. Top it's great shit. Crumb yeah, that's what I say. Kevin Kleinrock, everybody's heard of Kevin Kleinrock. Do you have any pictures around him? Mm, oh, we gotta get the one where. He's got the business suit on. I'm gonna the pictures? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he is. Somebody drew that. <laughs> That's pretty close. Yeah. You have See? A full beard like that. See Kevin with a little rat tail? I don't think he could grow a freaking beard. So, but this is Kevin's office. He's at home because his wife, uh, uh, Lindsay, who starred in. Uh, Delinquent Teen, she was. Delinquent Teen, and you know what we'll do? While well, we we'll put a clip of it real quick. So, okay, this is for the viewers. Here's a clip. She just had all kind of dick smashing in her. Here's a clip of Delinquent Teens. Go <laughs> All right, we're back from the clip. That is who Kevin married. She just had a baby. She said Kevin's kid. She just said Kevin's kid. Too bad I didn't work it, and she would have sucked me off. <laughs> so she is not a porn girl anymore. She's uh, Mrs. Kleinrock. Mrs. Kleinrock, who is raising a little Jewish kid. <laughs> a little Jewish kid that hopefully won't look like Kevin with a big hook nose. All right, there's uh, Smiley. I should his office. See, that's the kid. That's the kid that I didn't trust that I had to move him into my office because he Talk just you know, smoked pot what, all day. And here's the reception area. That's, re okay, that's uh, Madeline, and that's Travis Bickle. <laughs> that's Kiki and Cena. It's, it's dark out, yeah, they're great. There we go. It's dark out here. This is the lobby. They keep it dark. No, the trunk on your car's open. Just put it up. What'd you put in there? <laughs> Just letting you know it's open. You're driving around. I like that response. Smiling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. You come and check out the green stuff. Okay, hey, now, all right. Since now, last time. now, now viewers. Closet. Now, viewers, okay, this is up, though. Now, that girl that we just seen outside there, he was banging her. And I, he was, I always have shades on during. The he was, he was, he banged that broad. So that broad, Kiki and Cena, that lifted up her shirt. He was banging her, like a half hour ago. And I came and knocked on the door, and he, and instead of him saying, "Hey, I'm, I'm getting laid," you know, he didn't though. Look at up though. I was thinking about getting sucked off. I can't anymore. I was real fucked up that day. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the viewers about her smelly pussy. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm saying, yeah, don't worry about it. So what? Yeah, no, 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 what you're saying is that, no, I mean, I'm sure I get annoyed, and I, like, I didn't even want to play around. And all of a sudden, um, I walk, and she's like, saying, hey, I came to visit, it's a party. So I'm, like, in a dilemma. How do I get rid of her? But they said, you know, that lost my mind. I felt I had to get sucked up. <laughs> oh, you guys have been hitting the Jack Daniels, I can smell it. No, not just the first beer, first one of the day. Did she she got hit the first one of the day. Hit the first no problem. Yeah? yeah. I just spoke so, I just spoke uh, yeah. He's fine, he wants to talk to his partner, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we'll but, yeah, but look at the green, look at the zoom up his office. 
tell the viewers about her smelly pussy. No. <laughs> Didn't you say that? No, no. Didn't no. you say that? No. Didn't you fucking no. say that? Yes, you no. did. No. Yes, you did. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, anyway. Look, 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 the awards. Hey, look at this. Oh, ah, look, he's off those stupid awards. Look. <laughs> Feature the abyss, right? Look, and this is all AVN. There's, 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 there's actually three of them. I gave the two of them away. There's his AVN award. He got three of these. Three of these, but I gave the other two away. gave the other two away. Tried to give one to John Stelliano. <laughs> and there's his other one. This is from Tim Conley's magazine. I had a feel like a plastic cheap <laughs> piece of shit. Tim, look at, he spared no expense look, on that one. Look, Adam Filmer World 2001 Movie Awards Most Outrageous Sex Video Shades. They, t look at this. It's fucking plastic. Look. Let me tell you something. Gene Ross's brother to give you good fucking trophies. Remember the last time with this, the little closet I had of an office, remember? Yeah, remember? See how we, see how we yeah, grow that's the wedding shirt, man. It's it's and wedding. that is the shirt that <laughs> Thomas Zucker wore to Kevin's wedding. But remember the last time you viewers were here, it was a little closet of an office. And now, it's sheep, my yeah, this is how we grow. Can you pull anything? Yeah. Six? All right, you'll do good. All right, then we go back down the hall. And Gene, and there's Gene Ross. Yeah. Gene Ross, yeah. his office. Well, we're we trying out a new camera, are we? Is that what it is? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Well, Gene's office is dark, too. It is dark. It's everybody's dark and mysterious. Everybody's offices are dark. It's very noir, noirish. That's It's my homage to the 40s, being dark and mysterious. Gene. And it goes in well with the Halloween theme that we're... About to have? Yeah. Not. Right. 30 days of Halloween here at Extreme. It's going to be a uh, grand celebration. I hear all kinds of things are proposed and set up. <laughs> about that retirement party for Tom Byron? Yeah, that one too. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of dark. Marry it up, get a pregnant, be done. Oh. No, nope, there's John again. We just came back from Gene. Yeah, got to see Gene Ross. Yeah. Can you take the head off? No, Gene, show the fucking viewers your new do, man. man. There you go. That's badass. There you go. See that shit? That's right, brother. Fucking Gene. When Gina. it comes to blonde, brother. There we go. I got it. That's good shit. Dude, he got sunstroke like oh, two weeks ago when his face two is black ago, and blue. Two weeks ago, like alien face. That was good shit, though. That was Klingon good. Klingon face. And then I go down here. This is DJ's office. He makes like catalog ads and he films people fucking doing shit like that he ain't here here's Muss's office Kevin see the green walls he's green like that he, there he's watching a DVD right now that is an XPW DVD you can go to that look at me I'm pretty fat there though alright it's not much excitement going on here alright we'll move down now Gee, do I, do I not have to go to Philadelphia for this show? Yes, we just got to figure out. I guess I don't have a ticket. Here's Brad Siskin, his office, another dark office, as you see. Brad is, uh, Brad, tell us, tell us your story, Brad. Brad was a fan who wrote us a letter, and it was pretty creepy. So Tom Byron read it, and then Tom Byron gave it to me, and he said, we should call this guy. So we called him up as a goof, and and he would he was like, he stutters, but you can't tell now, can you? Say something. Uh, See, he usually does this thing where he goes, hum, and then I was, hum. So he called us and we told him if he came out here for an interview and we liked him, we'd hire him. So he came out and we really didn't like him, just like we don't really like him now. But we gave him a job and he's been here and he does like a good job. And he, do, he used to do this line for Armageddon called Thousand One Ways to Eat My Jizz. But that's when he was August Arkham, and that's not who he is anymore. He's that's, Brad that's, Siskin. That's when it was all fun and games. Yeah, now he's Brad Siskin, and he just finished a movie <laughs> called, what's the fucking movie? Easy, uh, Cheeks. Easy Cheeks. And it's a homage to the 70s type movies, and that's what he's doing right now. He's doing the music. He does all of his own music. He edits. See, he's got the G4. He does everything. Yeah, that's about it. Mm-hmm. That sums it up. I just put in a trash can. So that's the bread. This is a day at the extreme offices, man. For who? For our fucking DVDs. Oh, okay. All right, now we go back down the hall. Here's uh, one edit bay. It's Webb's edit bay. Go to the second edit bay. 
and there's uh, there's one at a bay, and there's two at a base. And there we're working on XPW, the Juice, Juventud Guerrero. Yeah, he's great. See, there's Webb. He's got a crutch. He hurt his ankle or his knee. Had to get knee surgery. Oh, a day at the office. How nice. <laughs> How lucky for the fans to see the, the way the things work here. See, look. Bullshit. This is where at Webb edits. The bullshit. Uh, Webb's dating her, but we're not going to tell anybody. Gay? Gay? Yeah. And then we go down here, and uh, this is where we keep chromes and bullshit like that. Come in here. This is where that kid Scott's Knott's office is. Hey. See, he's bright. He's got the martini glass. He's got pictures. Got martini. Velvet he's got the velvet black Jesus. It's my type of brother. Uh, there's a black, I don't know what she is. That's a girl crying, which represents all the girls that come in here and have to suck dick. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're like afterwards. They're like, why did I get into porn? And so that's them. Oh, there you is. I you spit in your trash can. Right. Trying to spit in everybody's trash. Holy shit, I almost fell. Give me some masters and shit. There's a bathroom, someone's in there shitting. Now we go into the warehouse. There's John again in the warehouse. It's the Allen deal. Yeah. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. I'll wait when the guy calls. I'll see. Uh, I'll, I'm not gonna. You know, I won't sell out. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I won't sell you out. I'm not like you. You fuck. I'll keep you in mind. <laughs> All right. Good luck. No, but I'll remember. Goodbye. The guy's uh, someone who deal, does business with us now, but uh, he's, they reneged. The guy that was going to do the 50 of a number said no now because he wants to go direct to us and not to a middleman. He wants to get it cheaper. So the next two days, I'm going to get a call from a guy who wants 50 of a number DVD. So I know exactly who it is and what it is. See that, man? He's the deal maker. Make it happen. Now there's more product. See, product, product. On was just here, but there's On. Han's a pretty big guy. He's Israeli. He's a Jew. See, I got blacks and Jews that work for me. See, man? What the fuck? More product. For some reason, Han's the only one working today in the warehouse. Oh, there they are. It's Travis Bickle again. Guy from... What is that for? That's, that's, uh... It's going to the INS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a guy going through our dumpster. Probably a fucking FBI agent. What's he doing? Who's that? Oh, whose dumpster is that? <laughs> Fuck him. All right, it's not our dumpster. That's our dumpster over there. Now we're gonna take it to the mail order department. But I don't know how much they're going to want to be on camera, so I'm just going to kind of go through there. And then we'll do it. But fuck them, you know what I mean? They're all legal. Uh, this is the... Well, this is the wrestling warehouse. And our other warehouse is shit. There's the ring. See? Okay, here we go. And this is where uh, my wife, Lizzie Borden, resides. All right, I'll call it here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go. Page. Page. What are you doing, man? Look at that. Roll. Go, go up on your feet. Come here. Go on. There you go. That's some funny shit. And then we go here. There's Donnie. Donnie's on Lizzie's computer. Lizzie's not here because she's out shopping, picking up something for the goddamn show that we have to go to. There's Paige. Okay, and then we go out here. This is following the orders. But there's no one out here. Hi. Hi, nobody here. Where's Francisco? We went to the post office. All right, we went to the post office. All right, now we'll go to... 
Power back out. All right. You know, against the fucking obscenity part of students. It's like every step of the way, you try to fuck with us, and we're going to fuck you right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, there's dead extreme offices. Real fucking exciting. Go fuck yourselves. You know